Yeah. Woo! Woo! The good thing about us being so woke is that like our chakras are just popping out from our fucking skin. Mm. People can just see them, and there's this glow That's around us because we've been like waking this, up. Chakras. Exactly, it's your heart shock chakras bursting out from your chest. Chest. Out of my, chest. Out of my oh, Lion King shirt. I love my Kuna Matata. Dude, this fucking. I like your cat too. Dude, we both got cats on our shirt. Mine will fuck yours up though. Yeah, but mine's mine. woke as fuck, as you can see by the third eye. Yeah, yours might outsmart mine. It would just be like, hey man, right? Did you boof your power crystals this morning? And your cat's gonna be like, well, mine, maybe mine's like an OG woke, because it says a kumatata, so it means no words. You're right, and he's kind of hanging with other species, so he recognizes that we were all one kind of right. thing, which is pretty big in the in the awoken world. Right, and that's what we're getting into in this video. What does it mean to have an awakening? Sure. I wanted to start this one off just by at least uh, acknowledging that when somebody says they had an awakening or they, they woke up or something, that it's a very diverse and complex thing to say. It's not like there's one definition for it across the board. If somebody says they woke up, it means the same thing for every person who says right. it. A lot of times it means different things for everybody. But what I think is at least in common is it usually means like, some kind of new start or right. like change or like a um i i feel like it was really like waking up from a dream state reality like i was just going through my life just la di da i'm going to school i'm working a job hi bob how's it going and then i ate mushrooms and it was just like holy shit this is my life this right. is everything that i do every day like right. and it just it's like looking at it all for the first time it was almost like being, being like an, an animal before like you were just being you you didn't think right. about like a, like a tiger doesn't think about fuck I'm hungry now. but just, if you would have asked me I would like of course I, I think about what I'm doing yeah, exactly because you are but you're not there's like a difference between like consciously it's like another level of awareness yeah. well you had that now, one vision like, you could probably describe it better than me where there was like a, a reaper or something like oh. leading everyone maybe you yeah. can describe it there was a because it's kind of how everybody is who hasn't taken psychedelics and then it's like you had a, you yeah. had an awakening in that moment and were able to was able to see yeah it was intense i had my eyes closed and i was aware of that so when you take mushrooms you at least for me, I notice I get a lot of closed eye visuals. And some people get like geometric patterns, and then some people get like movies playing, I've heard. And this was like a movie where I ha it was just pitch black, my eyes are closed, and then out of nowhere, my head pops up, and I'm looking around, and I see a bunch of people with their heads down, almost like they're looking at their phones, but I didn't really see any phones. But they're just like looking down, and there's just thousands of us, and we're just lined up, and I can't move because there's just so many of us. And I'm looking around, and I see a few other people's heads that are popped up, and I'm like, hopping on my toes looking like what the fuck and they're all pointing forward like freaking out and i'm like what the fuck and there's a grim reaper floating on the edge of a cliff just doing this just bringing them all just in. luring us reeling and, in the cattle and they're all just walking to their desks and they're and all they have to do is just look up That's and they all, can see that they can see off the cliff. walking into yeah. danger and they're not looking and a lot of people that are looking are trapped within the people that aren't and we're getting all brought off this together and i think You're that's why people are trying to bring awareness to each other it comes off right. douchey but it's like no man we're all living this together and i think that's part of what an awakening is is realizing that there's something greater than yourself to work towards right and that it's not just about you you're just a piece you're an important piece of the puzzle to a greater picture and right. we gotta all play our part to make this better picture and that brings me to it reminds me of another thing I wanted to bring up, which was um, people who feel obligated to wake up other people because you said your head popped up and you could see maybe other people who were, who were waking up or seeing what was going to happen and they, they can't move because they're stuck with the momentum of everyone else. People, people feeling the need to wake other people up. Yeah. Um, I feel like it never goes over well when somebody has an awakening or they're woke as fuck yeah. and now it's their calling or mission in life to wake up the other sheeple as they like to put it sheep. it's i feel like that's like a whole nother level of being asleep it's like you're just in this deep slumber and you're just kicking and screaming through your dreams right. and you're waking up everyone else who's asleep and it's just you don't really get done what you're trying to get done mm -hmm. i feel like no part of does. part of waking up is realizing that it's it's a personal journey it's not really like well, you're trying to wake up, realize all this shit going on. It's yeah. like you just work on you. There's a quote that I wrote down that I wanted to bring up. It's um, 
I'm probably paraphrasing it, but it's if you want to change the world, start by cleaning your own room. I yeah. think I heard it on Duncan Trussell's podcast, yep. and it's the right. hardest thing for people to do. They're like, I'm awake. Now I just need to wake up everybody else. It's like, that doesn't work that way. Okay, we're all awake. Now what? You know, dude, you know what I think that is? I think that's because naturally our instincts are to worry about other people. And and because we're supposed to be like a tribe, you know? Yeah. It takes multiple atoms to make a molecule. And I feel like we're naturally drawn together and we don't even know that. So they think of helping the other before even helping themselves. So you're like, all right, I'm all good now. Now I'm going to help all you guys. You just woke up, which means if you just had an awakening, you're just being reborn. You got to learn how to walk. You got to learn how to crawl, then learn how to walk, then learn how to run. You can't just be like, I can crawl. I'm going to go teach everyone else now. Like, you still got so much to learn. It's I'm saying this because I'm learning this about myself. And I was one of those douchey people. Like, I had an awakening. And then people roll their eyes. And I'm like, wait, what's wrong? <laughs> you almost have to learn, like, for me at least, it made me learn that I need to be almost parent myself. Meaning, like, if I'm, like, going to go do something, I know that's not going to benefit what I'm trying to do. You got to go, it's not time for that right now. Like, all right. Like, I'm looking up at the no- toneless voice in my head. That's me. Yeah. But it's, uh... Well, especially with mushrooms, they are like a parent to yourself. Acid, yeah. LSD is a little more free, a little more lenient. It, it can go either way, but mushrooms, at least for me, were a little more constructive, a little more like a voice in my head saying like... Yeah. It, it, really just rearranging, I feel like, reorganizing my ethics un- and lifestyle. Yeah. Like, well, it's like you said, you're organizing your room. Your room and your mind's all over that's messy. You take psychedelics, you start putting things in their place, and now you got a clean space to fucking live in. It's it's strange, man. I In our LSD video for beginners, Check I said... Check that out if you want to. I, I said in there that it's really important that if these substances are helping you to share your experiences with people and let people know. Yeah. And I find that so hard to do in my pers- like personal interactions with people. After yoga class uh, last night, I was talking to this lady I always talk to in there, and she asked me um, how long I'd been doing yoga for, and I told her like a year and a half, two years. She's been doing it like 30 years. Damn. I know. And um, she asked me what got me into it, and I like didn't even know where to begin because it's psychedelics, but it's so hard to just jump in with that with someone. So it's yeah. like, honestly, it was just like a whole lifestyle change. I just really needed to clean things up, but really it all started with eating some mushrooms. Well, and then I feel like we're not doing credit to this medicine. Exactly, and maybe that's what too. she was waiting for. Maybe and that's she, how she yeah. discovered it, and yeah. she's hoping I'm going to bring it up, and we I'm too all, scared to. We're all in the closet in a way. Not everybody, obviously. Some people are not afraid to just let their freak flag, freak flag fly, but a lot of us are in the closet for who we really are, and you just got to come out, man. You need to be your unique self. Like we said in our other video, Smoke Session, episode two, we are talking about, you just need, it's like, I want to see people be happy because we're all just funny human monkey things. And it's fun right. to see people, what they gravitate towards and create their own things and just... The more people embrace being themselves, the more unique they are. Well, and to bring it full circle, that's part of how, like, part of waking up for me, like we said, this is just what we've learned. Everyone's is different. Was letting people just be people. And it like, kind of goes to what you said, just right. let people sleep. Because what are you really learning if you're wasting all your time, and I don't mean wasting in a negative way, but using all your time to wake someone else up that's not ready, you're not learning yet. So when they would do wake, all right, dude, you're right. What's up? And you're like, uh, oh, now what? I haven't learned shit. You know, exactly. so you almost it's hard. When I was taking psychedelics, it made me really want to be there for people. But in order to be there for people, you have to be there for yourself first. And not in a selfish way and be greedy, but you got to figure yourself out and lead by example because who's going to follow you if you're fucking crazy? Like, I'm sitting there depressed. Oh, the world's getting right. Take my yeah, shit. Listen to me. Yeah, who's going to do that? Exactly. But if you're going to the gym, you're eating healthy, you're doing yoga, you're, fa- you're painting, you're drawing, you're, you're, you're going on vacations, you're experiencing life. Like we said, it doesn't have to be a psychedelic experience, just a experience. An experience. Yes, exactly. Maybe. Life experiences, it, it can shape you as much as psychedelic experience. I mean, psychedelic it's just a tool. is a life experience. It's just a tool. Exactly. Um, and another thing, another word, I guess, for having an awakening or whatever you want to call it, a revelation, is, I don't know, you tell me if you think this is another word, if this is a synonym for waking up or not, or if it's a separate thing on its own, is uh, ego death. A lot of people commonly refer to when they take a psychedelic experiencing ego death where I don't know if the ego ever fully dies. It's kind of a weird one to say. It beats the fuck out of it. Yeah, like, it takes a hell of a If you've seen beating. American History X, that it, put your mouth on the fucking curb. That's what it is. You're like, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think 
I'm all, the more like I don't think there's just one at least like I said this is just my opinions and like from what I, I've experienced but I don't know if there's really just one awakening there was like exactly. there was the there was like this one time where it felt like I was reborn where it felt like my consciousness was shot through a birth yes. canal into my body where I'm at now and it was like <laughs> You have the most honest reaction. Like, That's how it is. Like, it's not like <gasps> I'm woke as fuck. No. It's more like <laughs> I'm so confused about life. I'm so insecure. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I don't know. Dude, that shit's so funny. And then you like, and then you go to your girlfriend or maybe it's your boyfriend, whatever. But you're like, <laughs> you don't even explain what just happened. Well, they're so not they're taking look, psychedelics either. It's no, it's rough. Most people don't. So when you're it's just rough. like. Dude, one time I was tripping, I was just like, dude, I feel like I'm fucking tr- confined within myself. And it meant, like, at the time I thought, it felt like it meant just expressing yourself and, like, you're trapping, like, who you really, like, being in the closet. With who yeah. You really are. But when I say that to people that aren't tripping, I'm like, holy shit, I just realized I'm confined. I think I can find myself. And they're like, I don't know what you mean. Even though they might be able to relate yeah. to that, they just don't think about it in that way. And I feel like psychedelics helps you make that connection which is probably what that awakening... It's like the way you were saying in the beginning. It makes you want to roll your eyes, but it's really just like an epiphany. Exactly. Like, like there are going to be, like you said, multiple awakenings or revelations or whatever, but I felt like there was that one first one, and yeah. that's the one that I refer to as waking up because yeah. it was like the first one. Everything else after that, I feel like, is... Uh, is a revelation or I guess, yeah, more or, epiphany type Yeah, of something like that. Where ego that, death, I feel like, is more like almost people... That, yeah. It's a little different. It's a little more it's like what you beat know you down. Dying, I feel like we're like I feel like the awakening feeling was more of like holy shit, I'm alive. And then the ego death was like, and was that realizing you did? I, but I guess that could be technically awakening, but maybe it's just it hurts your feelings more. Yeah, because it was just like, man, you're gonna die one day. You what? What are you doing with this life? Like this is it's not bad. Dying's not scary. It's natural. But you just are scared of it, and you're not living. So why you should li- like you're doing it wrong. Your fear is keeping you here, and that's why I wrote my book one. You don't want to let it keep you here. One. In my book, I'm not writing book. My journal. Your fear <laughs> is keeping you here, and that's not good. It got me writing a lot, which reminds me the the first night where I had a awakening when I ate the mushrooms at your place, and then got a ride home. Um, <laughs> night was. Great. I remember you explaining that to me. Like, I had yeah, I had a fucking rough night, but by that's the end good. of it, I. I went in my garage at my mom's house and started writing in a notebook in the garage by myself and the very first words that I wrote down as douchey as it sounds were uh, I have awoke and then I kept writing about how nobody has any idea about what's going on blah 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 but why I bring that up is because you brought up the word spiritual earlier and kind of relating it to psychedelics or having an awakening and there's something there to me and I can't quite put my finger on it but I think it's very strange that I know it sounds douchey but the first thing that I wrote was I have awoke and then it took me into this path of finding music that I find out later is yoga music which brings me into yoga which brings me into buddhism which makes me start reading books where i find out that the Mm -hmm. buddha means the awakened one so it like it comes full circle and (laughs) i don't like to i don't call myself spiritual or anything like that but like i was telling you that dude came up to me in pete's coffee talking to me about tattoos the other day and he's like so you like all into spiritual stuff it's like apparently i give off that vibe but i'm not into it at all but i give off that vibe off from being into psychedelics so there's I don't know why the spiritual community and the psychedelic community are so hand in hand. Well, it's just maybe something we're not tapping. I feel like they were connected at the beginning and then they lost their their connection and now it's we're trying to figure it back out. Like, where did these two lose touch? I don't know. In LSD, I, I've read it in books, I think from Alan Watts, that it's it was often referred to as the yogi medicine yeah. that's lsd it's mushrooms it make me have an awakening lsd is called the yogi medicine like what the fuck is going on here it's probably once it became illegal people stopped giving it credit because it used to like right LSD, LSD especially i think mushrooms too but i know lsd was legal like i don't know, I want to say like 68 or something like that I well and then there's all these substances that go back in time like that we don't know what it is like soma and nobody knows what the fuck soma is. It's not the pain, the prescription yeah, that drug that we have. Lot. We have nowadays. It was, it was something that they drank. And it's like, was this ayahuasca? Was this some kind of psychedelic that we don't have access to anymore? Right. Like, 
How do we just lose track of what the fuck a substance is? Bullshit. Maybe that's the best one. They just bury that shit. I don't know, man. Or I, I think that's why the those those kind of substances that give you those like epiphanies, life changing, awakenings, whatever you want to call them, realizations, are illegal. Right. That's the only thing I can really think of. If they're not harmful to your body, I it, like you, dude. You could take. I'm speaking for me. I could be different, but like. When I take acid versus drinking alcohol, alcohol fucks me up really bad. But I'm not aware that I'm fucked up. Yeah. I can drive. Yeah. When I take LSD, I'm like, I can't see straight. <laughs> Don't. If I'm, you tried to get me in a car, I'd be like, why? Why the fuck do I have to leave the house and get in a car? Why do you want me to put someone in danger? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Fuck you, man. <laughs> this, this reminds me of uh, another one that often comes to mind for me if you don't like the awakening analogy that that's a total eye roll for you is i always go back to the red pill versus blue pill analogy Mm -hmm. and it's once you like you brought up the matrix the drugs that seem to make you have an awakening or revelation of the ones that are illegal and i think it's the red pill drugs that are illegal and the blue pill drugs that keep you content exactly are the ones that are legal so keep on with your painkillers your alcohol and whatever the hell else but your cigarettes, your coffee, keep at it. But mushrooms, LSD, something you'd only want to take a couple times a year and it's relatively harmless. Right. Illegal as fuck. 